Okay, so we need clothes. Everyone needs a little bit of clothes. So I'm going to take the character and let's go file. I've actually measured her as well. So I gave her, what's it, five foot four or something like that. So now when I take her out and I go export selection, and I'll export this out as an OBJ, Greta for Marvelous. And okay, great. I've already got this out, but whatever, I'll replace it. <coughs> now, um, I'm moving over to Marvelous, and I've got um, Marvelous 8. Okay, so it's kind of the same, but different. There's a few things that are extra and cool about this than um, the school version. Uh, so I'm going to do File, and I'll import OBJ. Whoop. And I go looking, Greta Project Scenes, and there's Greta for Marvelous. You can bring in more pieces you want to. Load type, object type, load as avatar, automatically add arrangement points. I think that's something I don't need to worry about. Anyway, centimeters, 100% scale, da 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 da, okay. And there she is. Okay, it looks like we've got some kind of weird material on her, but um, that might be because I have an Arnold material on her over in Maya, but I'm not going to get too worried about it. Okay, um, some things to remember. Uh, the settings. If I go to user settings and I go to user interface, no, it's 3D. View controls. There it is. This is Maya. I switched mine to Maya. Makes your life easier when you're navigating. Okay, um, and there's her little silhouette here. Now this is your flat screen and this is your 3D view. Um, and is there one other one in here I gotta do? Settings, preferences, gizmo, change it to world coordinate. Okay, so it's easier to move things around. Um, <clears throat> and this is just, I'm rushing my way through this just to kind of bumble my way through. And if I look uh, along here, the little icons, uh, this one here is the polygon icon. And so I want to try to make some kind of, uh, I'm gonna make an iconic kind of shirt that she wore, I think, at one point. And I can click these points, and there. Great. And if I click and I drag, I can get a nice little taper out of this. Okay, I'm just kind of eyeballing them. I don't want them to actually be perfect, because I've noticed it looks a little bit better if they're not perfect. Uh, you get a little bit more random wrinklage. Everyone likes random wrinklage. Um, there, there, and there. Okay, that's gonna finish it off and give me a piece of geometry. Um, <clears throat> and now you see it over here. And if I go here and I grab the, uh, the move tool and I click on it, I can move this around if I want to. Okay. Um, also here, which one is it? It's this one. Transform pattern, edit pattern. Uh, I think I've just, oh, I don't want to make another one. <laughs> Cancel. Uh, there. Oh, I was smoking crack. Enter. Well, of course not. And I'll just delete that. Boop. And I gotta switch to one of these. There we go, so I can move this around. Um, and I can do things like go in here, right click, copy, right click, uh, paste. And I'll just paste this right here. So I got another piece over here. And let's just take this thing push it back over here here now something I should have done but I skipped it just to kind of show you that is that there's a front and a back to this okay this is brighter so it's the front and the darker it's supposed to be in the shadow um, and I'm just gonna reverse this around here just rotate around okay and when I'm over here, I can edit points, too, on this side. So if I don't like something, I can say, well, this doesn't, oh, and everything's selected. Just one second. Deselect. Move that up. Actually, I'm not allowed to do this. Boop. Yeah, let's take that one, delete it. Take that one, and if I go in here and I look, edit curvature. Uh, 
that's not going to work the way I want it to. Yeah, that's good enough. Anyway, that'll be okay. <coughs> and there, I've got these two pieces. Um, if I go over and I grab, there's little sewing machines here. Okay, edit sewing, segment sewing. And um, this is uh, Marvelous 8, and I can actually do this in 3D mode here. I can kind of go over here and figure out, like, there's a little line there. Okay, there, and I can go over here and click it, and it will go together. But if you're in the earlier version, you have to do it here. So I click. See where that little segment is right there, and I look over here, there, make it so they're the same. Otherwise, if they spin across each other, you did it on the wrong side of the line, right? There's a little a little mark right there. It should show up on one side or the other. And uh, so here, bloop, there, um, and I'll do the same thing over here, just so you can see that I can do exactly the same thing. But that's the glory of Marvelous 8. Uh, click. And here I gotta stare and try to figure out where I am. And I don't see anything getting tangled up. And so life is good. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, let's just switch tools again. And so now those things are sewn together. And there's a little arrow that points down here. This starts simulation. Just press spacebar. And there, a boom. Um, and if you want to, you might see. Actually, I'm not sure the points are some kind of collide point, I do believe. Okay, I don't think those show up in version 7. Um, but uh, let's go and flip this so you can see a wireframe. What is it? Hotkey is Alt 5. Am I crazy? Nope, there it is. Okay, so you can see my wireframe. If you select both pieces, so this piece and this piece, I'm holding down Shift to do that, you can go over here to the property editor. And in the property area, you're looking for the particle distance. So these things are considered particles, and their distance is 20. So what if I went and I put that to say 10? I hit enter. There, so now I've got more definition. What if I went, you don't really want to go much below 5, I've noticed. There, because that gets pretty dense. And I'll just tap the space bar, and you can see it's pretty heavy. Um, and I can pull this up. Got this little move tool on, so it lets me kind of stretch the uh, fabric around. Okay. I probably should have done this before I added in the more all, all those extra points, but it just sorts itself out. And here, let's just go back to normal mode. Okay, but it does give me some nice wrinkles really, really quickly. I probably should have smoothed my model before I brought it in because I'm looking and I can see these kind of weird um, polygon facets over here from not smoothing my model. Okay, um, but whatever, we'll worry about that later on. I can smooth those down in ZBrush or Maya. And what are we at? Eight minute mark. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to pull this thing over, pull it over, and then let it go and let it see if it re simulates to another good position. Okay, and this looks a bit too weird. Might have to pull this point up a bit. And let's go over here and I'll hit the edit point button, deselect, and then I'll take this up. There. Of course, somehow I selected that. I just want a point. There, I think that's going to look better. And I'll just tap the space bar. There we go. That's better. And I can pull the back up a bit. And remember that you can kind of adjust the length of things here, and it picks it up in real time. Um, anything else I want to say about this? I'll leave it there. <coughs> Maybe I'll pull up. Oh, crap. Uh, go back over here to the move. But make sure the simulation's on while I do this. I can kind of pull this up a bit. I want a bit more wrinkles kind of resting on the hip. Hopefully that'll give me what I want. There, let it come back. There, and that looks like something interesting. Actually, almost this is almost too tight of a shirt, so remember you can just kind of go in here and pull these points over. 
give this whole thing a bit more girth. Okay, and I'll call it good somewhere around there. Tap the spacebar and see what happens. There, I'm kind of liking this already. Okay, and don't forget there's a whole pile of different materials you can uh, go and change to up in here. When you go to fabric, you can change the different fabrics so you can create a new one. And then um, there's some uh, things in the property area you can change. Um, okay, and <clears throat> so this will be like part one, and I think I'm going to have to do a part two, and I'll make some sleeves um, for this as well. And yeah, I'm going to stop here, and I'll go to part two in a minute.